Oh, good evening and a very warm welcome indeed. Hope you're keeping well. It's the 1st of October. We're on a Sunday night. Hope you've had a peaceful day. I'm about to uh, change all that because I've got two bets for you, which are running on Monday. One's at Newcastle and one's at Hamilton. And they're both big prices, as always, on my channel. I've not been on this channel for a few weeks, but I'm back for the start of October to give you another taster of what it's like to back some big prize winners. I've got a 12 to 1 free bet for you and a 14 to 1 free bet. They both run tomorrow evening or early evening within 15 minutes of each other. So within the sake of 15 minutes, we're going to go bang, bang, 12 to 1, 14 to 1. And if you get the double up, it's around about a 200 to 1 pickup. And boy, oh boy, that'd be a nice way to kickstart. October, that's for sure. Well, if you've got your pens and papers ready to go, I'm going to give you these two horses in a fairly quick time. If you're new to my channel, well, great pleasure to be with you and have you with me. And I'm sure it won't be the last time you check in with me. <clears throat> Just a little tickle there, the old Huey Green on the uh, uh, coughing meter, as they say, the, the coughing, coughing meter, or it's the cough meter, the old pedometer, wasn't it? The, the old Huey Green, the, the clapometer. So I mind the coughometer. So anyway, let's move on. These two bets then are at Newcastle in the 5.30 and Hamilton in the 5.45. So we've got a little bit of time on our side uh, tomorrow. And I'm going to go in race-timed order. I'm going to go with the 5.30 at Newcastle. Now, I'll just tell you, I am online tomorrow night, which is Monday night, at 6 p.m. after these horses have ran, after these ran, after these ran. And then I'll be previewing Tuesday's action. Now, already on Tuesday, uh, I can tell you something special's come through to me big time for the meeting at Air. So I'm going to be having a crash bang wallop at the meeting at Air and also at Wolverhampton uh, tomorrow, or I should say on Tuesday night. So on Monday night, I'm online at six o'clock to bring you a bet at Air and at Wolverhampton, and there'll be at least a hundred to one double as well. So make sure you make a date with me. If you're new to the channel, you can expect some fireworks. I expect some real big winners in the next few days starting tomorrow i'm very confident about these two they are big prices my average price that i predict on this channel is at least seven to one usually around about ten to one and my strike rate is over 42 percent win and place win and place on all selections okay so two bets coming up right now let's go first of all to newcastle is it newcastle or newcastle hey away man it's newcastle newcastle well, it is Newcastle, isn't it? Absolutely is. In the 5.30 at Newcastle then. No, it is Newcastle. Going to go for number three, Daniels Flyer. Now, that's the big price, this one. 14 to 1 currently on the odd checker across the board. I think the bookmakers are paying up first four. And I think this also got a very, very live chance of popping up. It's running off a mark of 65, which is a very low mark. Make no mistake about that. And it's dropped into a 0 to 65 very winnable handicap, I can tell you. Uh, this horse is coming down in the weights, but it's also coming down in the fact that it's running against a lower grade opposition. The last twice it's ran have been a 0 to 70s, then it was a 0 to 75 and a 0 to 78. Now it's down to 0 to 65. Now, if I explain to you that this horse last won on the 9th of March this year in a 0 to 65 race, You'll understand that this is the first time that this nine-year-old's had a chance to run back in the grade. And it actually was at Newcastle when it struck. Same jockey rides it, Karain, who rode it that day, and the same trainer rides it as well. Now, it won off a mark of 66. It's running off a mark of 65. So it's a pound lower than its last winner and on this track when it came out first time out this year and won. So I've explained why this horse shouldn't be 14 to 1. So it's dropped in grade into the grade it won back in March at this track, and it's off the lower mark than it won that time as well. So it all points to a big run here for number three, Daniels Flyer, trained by David Thompson. And uh, I can tell you this is a very unauspicious combination, Thompson and Corain. But don't, don't you worry, this can pop up, no doubt about that. I had a big touch on a horse called Cusack, which was trained by David uh, David Thompson, at one on the 19th of September at a huge price at 16 to 1. And I wouldn't be surprised if this one popped up again. So I've told you why some of the reasons why it's got a very much bigger chance than it looks on paper. The fact that it's got no form to its name, 7 nil 4 5 7 doesn't tell the whole story. The previous run was a win 
and it won at this track off a pound higher in the same grade that its first chance it's had to win since Thompson's got it in with a great chance. And there we go. Let's put it that one in the songbook. Number three, Daniel's Flyer, your first bet of the day. First bet of the month on this channel. Absolutely free of charge. And uh, it's got a very, very good chance at a very big price. And I like big prices because big prices make big profits. And uh, that's what we're wanting. That's what it's all about. Listen, if, once you've had that one, Daniel's Flyer, 15 minutes later, I'm going to take you to a little bit further up the north, even than Newcastle. We're going to Scotland for the 5.45 at Hamilton Park race course. Now, there's a horse here again, a very, very strong chance and shouldn't be the price it is. It is 12 to 1 currently and uh, it's a cracking each way price. It's number one. It's called Grace's Quest. And this one's trained by Jim Goldie and ridden by David Egan. Significant booking, David Egan, on this one. He's not rode the horse before, but this mare could pop up. Make no mistake about it. Its numbers by its side is 2546635. It is like the telephone number, isn't it, of the uh, weighing room at Hamilton or the hot dog man just outside, actually, the weighing room, which are very nice up there, the hot dogs. And uh, whether you like the onions with them or not, do you have the onions with your hot dogs or not? I do. I don't have the mustard, though. I have the hot dogs and a bit of ketchup. Yeah, that's what I like. But I probably prefer the burger. A bit, 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 bit like Randall there. Number one, anyway, come on, concentrate. Grace's Quest, no matter about the hot dogs and burgers. Number one, Grace's Quest. Jim Goldie, David Egan, runs off a mark of 61. It's nothing more than a glorified sell of this race. And it gets in to a 0 to 60 race. Last time it raced in a 0 to 80. The time before that, a 0 to 65. Time before that, 0 to 65. 0 to 65, 0 to 65. Then 0 to 85, 0 to 85. So what I'm trying to tell you, Grace's quest has come down in grade to a grade she can win off. Number one, Grace's Quest, trained by Jim Goldie. It's got David Egan booked to it. A very rare booking indeed for Jim Goldie. A significant one. And uh, for me, for me, this horse has a look of a handicap plot. And number one, Grace's Quest will do for me and will do for you in the 5.45 at Hamilton. Ran really well at air last time, up in fifth of seven, behind a horse called Alpha Female. Doesn't mean anything, the form figures, as I say. It really doesn't. 254, 64635. Absolutely irrelevant, meaningless, nonsense. What matters is down in grade, down in weights. David Egan's on board. It's got the ABC system written all over it. And not even that. It's got the DEF system as well. I'm on it. I'm all over it like a rash. It's number one. It's called Grace's Quest in 545 at Hamilton. I'm not going to tell you all the form because it doesn't mean anything. What means something, if it pops up tomorrow, you'll say he knew, didn't he? And I do know. So there we go. All I know is I'll give you two bets in eight minutes. Two bets in eight minutes. And both of them are free of charge. And I'll be back at six o'clock. Tom Mix, bang on the dot, with more news of those 100 to 1 double pokes tomorrow night on Tuesday. And I can't wait to tell you all about them. Good luck with Daniel's Flyer. Looks a handicap snip. And Grace's Quest looks a handicap plot. Let's do it.